I recently went to my local thrift shops and picked up a few items to remake over for Christmas. I picked up this wooden rocking horse for a dollar at the local restore and decided it would be cute white. So first off, I removed the hearts on both sides and then gave it a coat of the Waverly white chalk paint. It was really hard to get into the crevices, but with different size brushes, you were able to do it. Then I took some sandpaper and I sanded the edges to give it a more antique finish. And I purchased a mop head from the Dollar Tree. I cut the mop head tassels, I guess you'd call them, cut the strips, and then I folded them over so that I could use them for the mane and the tail. Then I took my E6000 glue and I put it along the edge of the head and a little bit on the front for his mane. There you see, it's on there pretty good. And then I did the same thing for the tail. Put the E6000 glue on the tail and draped it around. Once it had dried, then I unrolled the strings to give it that pretty wavy effect. Now some of the strings fell off that weren't on very good, but for the most part they stayed on pretty good. I didn't uncurl the ones on the very front because I didn't want them to fall apart, but I thought it looked good the way it was. And there you have it. A cute little rocking horse. Next up, I picked up a paperback book from the Salvation Army for 29 cents. Now, when I was a kid, my mom had a Christmas book that had gold along the binding and the trim or the pages. I didn't have any gold, so I used a silver metallic paint that I had. I squeezed the book really tightly together and put a good finish on the edges. Then I printed off an image from the graphics fairy and modge podged it on the front cover. Now I didn't do the back cover because it's just going to sit on my stand, it's just for decoration, but I did go over the binding and then folded it under on the inside and on the back. Pressing firmly, getting it on there as good as I could. working out the air bubbles. Then I took another coat of Mod Podge once it had dried and put over the whole book. I have a little metal tool caddy that I put poinsettias in for a, on my dining room table and I wanted to put a little sign on it. And at the Salvation Army I bought a bag full of little Christmas ornaments for 75 cents and this was in the bag. So I first peeled off the paper that was on the front of the sign and I took the ribbon that was on there off. Then I went on Graphics Fairy again and printed out this cute poinsettia sign and used Mod Podge to put the label on. Once it dried, I again put another coat of Mod Podge over it to help seal it. Then I let that dry. Then I took some jute twine, put around one side, and then tried to figure out where the best place for it to be. At first I thought maybe the middle of the top of it, but that just didn't look right. So I took it off and decided to put it along the one side and there's a little um, I guess you call it a nut that kind of helps it stay in the place on the side of it and I thought it turned out pretty cute and I just have a thing for poinsettias so here it is all finished next up I purchased this blanket throw blanket for $4.99 at the Salvation Army 
and I wanted to make my kids some stockings. My boys have had the same stockings for years and it was about time that we got some different ones. First thing I did was I took my seam ripper and ripped the seam along the edge so that the front and the back were separated. Then I downloaded a pattern, an extra large on learncreatesew.com, printed it out and taped it together, and then I took my fabric pencil, or I'm sorry, fabric marker, traced it out and then cut it out. And then I just followed the directions that were on the YouTube video. I'll have a link to that below. And then I just sewed it together. This ribbon I had already had on hand, so I used that for the hoop to hang the stocking up on the hook with. And I cut it about five inches for each stocking. Like I said before, with the YouTube video, it's really informational, and I just love the feel of this fleece. My kids weren't excited about replacing their old ratty, nasty stockings, but they're going to have to get over it because the ones were pretty bad, and these ones here are way better. So I just followed the directions that they had on their YouTube video, and it was really super easy and simple to make. It literally took me maybe half an hour to create three stockings. And here I'm inserting the liner and sewing the liner and the outside together, right sides facing each other, and then I'm turning it inside out. Or I'm sorry, right side out. Yeah, I'm turning it right side out. It's hard to do this and hold the camera at the same time. So then I'm sewing the cuff right sides together. And then putting on the sewing machine and then I'll sew that Then I'm going to take the inside and tuck it in and pushing it all the way to the bottom and fluffing it a little bit and folding my cuff over. And look how cute that is. Three stockings for $4.99. I think they turned out really, really cute. Pillow is a pillow.